Hi guys and welcome back to the second part of the 1000 subscriber special where I show you how to set up a basic melodic pattern for a hip hop instrumental. <laughs> So I'm just gonna go over here into plugin presets, generators, and Harmer. Um, I really do like Harmer. I love what they're doing. The sound is just so crisp. And I think for a plugin that comes with FL Studio, it's a great asset to anyone producing instrumentals. So I'm gonna go over here and select Piano 6, drop that into my pattern picker, and hit the plus sign up here to create a new pattern. This pattern I'm just gonna call it Piano. I'm going to right click on my instrument and hit piano roll. Now I have an external MIDI keyboard. Um, you don't require one to do this, but it just makes your life a whole lot easier, especially if you have a basic knowledge of chords, it really helps. But one of the things that I think is really important when you're producing any type of beat or any type of instrumental is that your melody actually goes with the drums. Quite a lot of home producers actually think it's enough if they have like a beat and just like a little bit of keyboard playing over it, but it isn't. It should be something that uh, that fits together with your drums. So to show you what I mean by that, I'm just going to hit play and record some simple piano chords. If you do have a MIDI device in FL Studio to record MIDI, you right click on the record button down here and select the score and make sure that the check mark is next to the score and not to the audio because your MIDI basically goes in through the score and not through the audio. So, um, so checking again, there's a check mark next to my score and I'm all set to go. So once I recorded my MIDI, I'm just going to go ahead and quantize it by clicking this little button up here and selecting Quick Quantize. Um, that should usually do the job if you've done somewhat of a decent job in playing in your piano chords. Another thing that I do after I uh, quantize my piano chords, I just drag up all the volumes so I don't have any volume fluctuations because that's going to be a little bit harder to mix in the end for me. Okay, so now you should be able to tell a little bit what I meant earlier by having your melody actually fit a little bit to the beat. I think that's one of the most important parts that some producers actually forget in creating a high quality instrumental. So basically, if I go over here to my drum pattern again, and I think I'm actually gonna rename that quick to drum pattern so we don't get confused, we're actually gonna be able to hear that pretty much every time when there's a kick playing, I also played a piano chord. Listen into it again. I think, and it never really proved me wrong, is that that's one of the most important things that you have to keep in mind when producing an instrumental. So now I'm gonna head back over to the piano track, or actually I'm gonna create a new pattern for uh, the strings. So I'm gonna go back into my Harmer plugins and just select string section and drop it into my step sequencer. And now, because I already have the basic piano chords laid down, I'm just gonna go ahead into my piano track and copy what I have here. Control all, copy, and back into my string section, piano roll, and paste. Now I'm just gonna drag these to make them a little bit longer, and put them right into my playlist. But before I play this, I'm gonna turn them down a little bit because I don't want them blowing out your speakers. Now I'm going to go ahead and drag them just a little bit longer because I find that strings need a little bit longer to um, produce the sound that, you know, natural strings would actually produce.
and that sounds fairly okay so far. Keep in mind that we still have the opportunity to change all these instruments and when I'm actually creating an instrumental, I change this stuff around like it's nothing until I really have that perfect sound that I really want. So now that we got the strings down, I'm just going to go ahead and create a new pattern and call it synth. This is where I'm going to have my synthesizer sitting. So let's see what we're actually going to use for this. And I just want something a little bit up in your face for this one. Let's try short Viking. Paste our pattern into here. Let's see what it sounds like. <laughs> Put that into the playlist as well. And it plays. And I like just pasting in the chords that I already have because it gives me something to work off of. So I'm just going to delete a couple of notes for the synth and hopefully we could get something cool. So that sounds pretty cool so far, but we still need a bass line. So I'm going to hit Control S to save my project again and keep the bass line for the next part of this tutorial. So I hope to see you guys there. Peace.